be a perfect opportunity to insert that Michael Scott meme where he pulls up in the car. <laughs> testing, testing. We're Hopefully trying to use our wireless mics today with the GoPro so you can hear our audio from each of us respectively hitting golf balls. Yes. Uh, we have it on our hat. Not ideal, but on our shirts, it, like, it flops around. That's not, I don't think it would be super comfortable while we're hitting golf balls. So we're going to head to the range today, warm up a little bit, then play nine holes. I feel like that's the best way to open up the channel. Yes. Just get nine holes under our belt, see how we do. It yeah. is very rainy today. Very rainy today. When we went to go check for a tee time, he was like, Literally, just go whenever. Just there's, go whenever. There's, there's no one out here. Just the way I like it. Yeah, Haley does not like people, people watching looking her. At me. Well, I'm bad. I'm getting I'm getting into golf, right? So yeah. I'm assuming that most of you guys watching this video right now probably know who we are, but just in case you don't, my name's Josh. This is my beautiful wife Haley behind the camera currently. Uh, we're starting a golf YouTube channel. We're actually full-time YouTubers as it is, is full-time YouTube resellers, I guess. If you know us from our main channel, you know what that's about. If you don't, we make reselling videos, go to thrift stores, garage sales, flea markets, stuff like that. Uh, sometimes we buy golf clubs and we flip them for a profit. But on this channel, we're just gonna play golf and kind of I guess vlog, vlog through our golf adventure. Haley's trying to learn golf for the first time, trying to get better and better each time we play. So today we'll get after it. I am very, very new to golf, you guys. So I think a lot of this channel is just gonna be me getting better. I've only been playing probably a couple weeks now. I had like six years ago, this is when I bought my clubs and I was super into it. I played like twice and I gave up. So now I'm like super into it. We, again, playing for a couple weeks. Hopefully I can start getting better because we've been playing a lot recently. It is starting to rain a little bit. Which is good Ooh. because it keeps people away. Haley but... loves having the course to ourselves. <laughs> The range out here is the uh, like the artificial turf mats, which is good for like I guess the sustainability of the range, but it's not good for accuracy of hitting. Ooh, mine's going to the left. That's the big focus. Like if you can just hit it straight, I mean you can play golf. I usually warm up with a couple wedge shots, full wedge shots. Once I get that nice rhythm going, then I'll move up to like, I don't know, maybe like a seven or eight iron. Hit a couple of those. That was really good. It's like a I full. I haven't missed any today. So. Yeah, <laughs> that was good. Oh, that was not good. Ugh. Current set of irons I have are Callaway Big Bertha X12s, which are not We got them the at the flea market. They were in one of our old videos. That's true. They were in one like, of our reselling videos. I don't know, like 50 bucks or something for them. Something like that. They're a little old, but they're just, they're so easy to hit. I think they're a little bit long for you. So yes, that's what I was going to say. I'm going to get new irons eventually once I get a little bit better. But yeah, these are definitely a little too long for me. Oh, You're that was really good. Well. That one was really good. That one was really good. I actually have this 60 degree. It's a Cleveland RTX 3. I found this in a golf course's like lost and found bin for five bucks. And I love it. It's got like a raw metal finish to it i'm just figuring trying to figure out how far ah. how far i hit it my rangefinder is the nikon cool shot 40i and i got this at a garage sale for 25 bucks and it's great i feel like it works just the same as like some 200 or 300 dollar rangefinder well, you're hitting it you're just missing it just like a fraction of an inch i don't want to get too tired before we actually play yeah so I'm gonna hit my driver a couple times. Yeah, me too. And then a couple drivers and I should be good. I need to practice a three wood. Number one out here is a par five. And after your first shot, you have to kind of hit it over the corner of this pond. I've played that hole nine times and I've hit balls in that water seven times. Yeah. It's like one of those mental things. Like if the pond wasn't there, I would never worry about it. But because all I think about is not hitting it in the pond, that's all I do. So I just kind of practice some three-wood shots, getting it in the air. Just like that, golly, that was perfect. All right, that's two pretty good three-woods, so I'm done. Ready when you are, champ. Well, I gotta get a good driver shot before we go. So I have a little bit of confidence under my belt. There you go. I did not keep my balance, but... That's a good shot, though. Nice little draw. We'll end on that. We're shooting today. 120. <laughs> oh, we're playing nine holes. As of right now, I am, I think technically I'm in like an 8.9 handicap, but I'm probably closer to a 10 the way I've been playing recently. I just don't think the stats are keeping up. 
This is pretty much the best I've ever been in my life. I've played golf in high school. I've played golf since I was four years old. My granddad taught me how to play. I've never had a lesson outside of that. Haley doesn't have a handicap yet. I think she's oh, probably no. like a 40. <laughs> so, something, something like that, but she's new. Encouraging, yeah. encouraging. My driver is a Cleveland TI 460. I'm pretty sure this thing's like 15 years old. I actually had a much nicer driver, and then I realized that I hit this one exactly the same different distance, and this one's a little bit more forgiving. So I don't know. I feel like I need to look at some driver options. We're having a Callaway is coming out to do like a club fitting thing this Saturday at our driving range here. So I might look at that and see if they can tell me what I need. We always hit two off the first tee because we're not on the PGA Tour. So let's see what we can do with the first one here. Right down the right. It's okay. It's in the pine straw over there. I could play that, but obviously I'm going to take advantage of the breakfast ball. Nope, I'll just put that one to the left. Yeah, it's down in the swamp. So it looks like I'm playing the first one. I only have one ball. That's all you need. I'm all only gonna do one. Put it out there. There's water on the left, so I kind of want to aim towards the right a little bit. Am I aimed good? Mm-hmm, that's perfect. Okay, no pressure, head down. Look at that. Look at that freaking look, shot. Look at that. That's, <laughs> that's so good. Oh, it's beautiful. That it's is, in the fairway. That way. is so good. Okay, so I see you. Yeah. I'm up here in the pond straw with literally all these limbs in my way. Haley's out me. there. Middle of the fairway. All right, let's see. I'm definitely not gonna get to the green and I do not wanna hit it in that stupid pond. So I'm gonna try to do a little, I got this, like a ping. It's a ping G400, like a crossover iron, like a, like a thick iron. I'm gonna try to hit a, like a low cut. Cause obviously I can't hit it up in the air cause the tree's in the way. So I can hit a low cut through there and it has to be a cut because if I hit it straight, it's going to go in the water. And I do not want it in the water. <sighs> so I'm going to wipe the mud off my ball because again, we're not on the PGA Tour. Get through. Go. Go. Not in the pond. Oh my I gosh. I literally right cl over. I cleared the pond by literally six inches. It was a good shot, but I hit that limb and jumped to the, jumped to the left. I don't know how far we are. Um, Pretty far. You're probably about 200 and... 40 yards. Quite a lot. So yards. I do have my three wood with me. So. Taylor made RBZ. We actually <sighs> got that at Played Against Sports the other day for like, yes. what was that like $35 or something? $29.99 I think. Yeah. It was a good deal yes. on that. I've not been hitting these very well lately. I would just we'll aim. See. I'm also going to get the mud off of my ball. Yeah. That's I would aim right where, where I hit my second shot yesterday, where we were on the other side Way of that bush. There. I would aim over there just in case you top it. You just don't want to top it in the water. Yes. Ah, I topped it in the water, Josh. Whoops. It's in the water. I'm going to drop somewhere over here. Okay, well, I topped it, but at least it went somewhere this time. Yeah, that's up there. I think I've got about 100, 145 yards. 144. So I'm going to hit my non-iron here. Can I move this? I'm going to roll it a little bit. I don't want to fall in the pond. I'm just going to aim right for the middle of the green. I'm not trying to do anything too fancy. Go, go, go. Sit down. I think it might be a little long, but that felt really good. I have a nine iron. We're 110 yards, right? Yep. She had a really good shot here yesterday when we were playing. Hopefully she puts it up there today. Haley really doesn't like being bad at things. She's very competitive. It is a little long up there in those bushes. That wasn't bad. I think you're in a bush though. I'm a little embarrassed because this is our first hole of this channel, but it shows you how bad I am. And it can only go up from here, right? That's right. These videos are just establishing a baseline of our skills as of today, which is like what, March? Well, March 14th? My baseline is very low. But listen, it's fine, okay? We all. We, the golf is literally the hardest sport in the world, according to most people that have played golf. Mine's a little long, see so it's in the back of the pole right there. But it's okay. Where's mine? Like on the tee box? Yours is the next uh, on that little bush over there somewhere. Huh, you see me? Look oh, at yeah. that. Yeah, pull it out of there. Oh, I'm obviously gonna not going to hit that. Yeah, you can't. So you I'm, and you I've to. already taken like six strokes already, so. We're just farting around. Okay. 
nice I would try to chip. land it like just before the green starts, that thicker grass. It's also gonna break to the right a little bit, so just to the left and shorten that thick grass. Go, 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 go. Okay, it didn't go as far as I wanted it bad. to. It's not bad. But it's on the green. Let's see what I can do from back here. The pin was in the back. I just, it was 145, 145, 144 yards, nine iron. I feel like that's appropriate. I guess I hit my nine iron at 150 yards now. I'd probably putt this if I didn't have that drain thing in my way. That's what I was trying to chip it and get it somewhere close. Stop, stop, stop. This is probably gonna be a triple, triple putter. A tri <laughs> triple putter. Triple putter. Come on, come on. That was a perfect line, just a little bit harder. Yeah, I need a little more speed there. such a letdown. Let's see if I can knock this in for par here. Oh gosh, I pushed the crap out of that. There you go. <laughs> oh, that was gosh. a close one. Yeah, not a great start. Next hole is a par three. 130 yards from here, so we're like 135. I feel like I have... I was going to get my nine, but I just hit my nine like 150 yards, so I'm going to go get my pitching wedge. Try to Knock a pitching wedge up there. Ah, thinned it a little bit. That should be on. Yeah. I have my nine iron. Not in the sand trap. Well. Watch it. It might roll through. We are in the sand trap. It's. I mean, sands are pretty difficult. I would. I would just put it. It's a sand wedge. You're like maybe 25 yards away. So just put it like in the front of your stance. Front. Open the club Dig face down. just a little bit and just hit under the ball about you know, two or three inches behind the ball and a full follow through. Don't stop in the sand. Look at that. Oh, at that. wow, I got up. up. Look at that. <laughs> yes. That's pretty okay. good. That's pretty good. I'm kind of glad I thinned mine a little bit. The pen is much more in the front of the green than I thought. I'm right over here. I'm gonna pitch my, fix my little pitch mark. I'm just gonna play it up a little bit. It's a little bit downhill, definitely right to left. I'm just gonna try to get it close and avoid the three putt. Go ball, go ball, go ball. Oh. Wow. That was a good line, but way yeah. too hard. I didn't, about right out here. Don't hit it too hard, just nice smooth swing. Turn, 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 get it. All right, no go, standing. go, go! Oh, tap in for bogey for Haley, which, you know, I guess on a par three is not that great, but I triple bogey the last, so progress. If you get fives on every hole, that's a 45. So I treat fours on a par three like a birdie. Any hole, a five is par, four is birdie, six is bogey. And this also makes it easier to add up the scores at the end. Good ball. Hole three, par four. I think it's, I don't know. I, th I think it's like 400 yards. It's just straight downhill. There's a couple sand traps in the front of the green. It's better to hit a shot to the right-hand side of the fairway because the bunkers are kind of on the left of the green. So if you hit it a little bit to the right, you have a better shot at the green with no danger. But I'm not good enough to control my drives that much. So we'll just hit it, <laughs> try to keep it out of the woods. I think that should be okay. There's a couple pine trees on the right there. I don't want to make sure I'm behind one. Do you know what the best part of this goal, this hole is? What? No water. That's correct. No water. Well, hit the ground. Progressing forward. One day when you're like a 15 handicapper, look, it's taking the cart path. It is taking the cart it's path. It's rolling all the way down the cart path. That could be it actually really good. It is literally still bouncing. <laughs> One day when you're like a 15 <laughs> handicapper and you can come out here and shoot, you know, 85, 90, whatever, you're going to look back at these YouTube videos and think, wow, I've come so far. That is my goal. We're yeah. 200 yards. That would hit your three wood. Okay. Again, the right side of the fairway is best. So I would probably aim at that, that red tree to the right and just put a nice, you don't have to hit it hard. Just make solid contact with it and let her rip. Well. Well, that went 
really right. It did, it did go to the right. You're okay over there though. You can still hit it. I'm in the woods, obviously. I have my seven iron. I guess I'm gonna just try to just trying to punch it out. Like get it, it out. Off, there. Put it off your right foot. Hands forward. Keep your hands head still. Forward. Okay. Just punch it out there. Perfect. Just like that. That's exactly what I wanted. My drive ended up right over here, just outside the fairway. I don't have any trees to worry about, so that's nice. Sitting 120 yards to the pin. So I'm gonna hit a, uh, I guess a pitch and wedge. The 120 is slope adjusted, meaning the hole is downhill, but it's playing 120. It's probably, it's probably about 130 away. So I'm just gonna choke down on this pitch and wedge, try to put it in the middle of the green. Go ball. Nope, right in the sand. Crap. So with your shot, I would take your sand wedge and just, you're probably, I don't know, like 40 yards, 35 or 40 yards. So just like a little half shot, I'd put it right in the middle of your feet, open the club face up a little bit to where it looks like the club is pointing to the right. Which would give more loft. Yes, it would add loft. Which I need the loft to get over <laughs> that monster. You don't want to be where I am. Yeah, just open Choke that down club face a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah, aim a little bit more to the right, to the right. I mean, sorry, to the left. You said right. Yeah, an open club face. There you go. You just take like a little half swing. Be sure to stay down and get underneath the ball and just let the club do the work. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> Such a good shot. <laughs> I'm not very good out of the sand, unfortunately. But I'll just try to get it up there close. Oh gosh, I caught too much. Stop, don't roll down the hill. The sand is all wet and compacted from the rain, and I didn't, I didn't account for that. Probably rolled all the way down this hill. I'm gonna try to hit it up with this 60 degree and get it to land. The greens are kind of wet, so I don't think they're too fast. Try to get it land right about in that flat spot right there, and take off towards the hole. Go, go. I didn't hit it hard enough. This is real golf, folks. As real as it gets. Let's see if we can make something happen for bogey. Nope. Okay. Right, you, this is for bogey, I think. You could beat me. Let's see your drive. Your one, two, three, four. Yeah, if you this make is this. This for bogey, right? If you make this, you beat me, yeah. Okay. The pendulum. The pendulum of my shoulders and arms. Yep. Stay up. Didn't hit Stay it hard up. enough. Nope. I gotta finish this for double there you go my only good shot on that hole was the sand shot which is really surprising <laughs> another par three par three well this is from my tees it's probably like 100 and that's the 115 one right 15. here they exactly what it is with my yard sale range finder 127 yards to the pin so i'm gonna hit pitch and wedge they put the pin in a very particular s s place today. Be right, please sit down right there. All right, I think it's good. Tee it up a little bit to give me, give me some loft, right? <laughs> yep, get some loft. I would aim right at the pin. You usually have a nice draw on your iron, so if you hit, aim at the pin with a draw, it'll end up right in the middle of the green. Or if you hit it straight, it'll end up at the pin. I feel like every time you say like, you every time I aim talk here, about your draw, you hit it straight, and then I hit it yeah. straight. Yeah. <laughs> Just aim wherever right. you want. That'll roll. Closer to the hole, but not the loft that I was winning. <laughs> yeah. Mine ended up pretty good. Looks like it. There's a little hill right here. I was hoping it would hit and then filter towards the hole, but I guess I had some backspin on it up here. Still. I, don't know, I got like a 15 footer for a birdie. Let's see if I can get back one of the three shots that I've lost so far. Okay, let's see if we can get this up and down for par. I have a sand trap, this, or sand trap. I have a sand wedge this time. Look at that. Look at that. Went a Look little at that spin. Probably Good shot. I don't really know what this is. I mean, it's definitely gonna go right. It's just kind of goes down in this valley and then goes back up. So I'm gonna play it about a foot out to the left. Just try to get it close. Oh, go, go, go! 
Boom. Nice baby. putt. Birdie. Well done. All right, I got my par putt from way over here. So it's downhill, but it's not super fast because it, it's, it rains, so the greens are a little bit slower. I think it's gonna go that way a little bit. I would, I would play it a little short, probably about right there. Try to get it to stop, you know, maybe okay. about two feet short of the hole and about a foot and a half out to the, to the left. Turn, 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 turn. <gasps> oh, a little too hard. <laughs> Uh, that was a perfect line though. You hit that exactly where I told you to, just a little bit too hard. Just like that, just like that. Turn, turn, turn. Perfect speed. Double bogey. Birdie. Yes, back, I am I am very over. proud of my sand shot. Despite my first shot being awful. Like the good shots are the ones that make you come back, right? Yeah. So like <laughs> So we Haley and I played in this Captain's Choice two person tournament yesterday and she was very nervous about doing it because we played with two other people, but we were our own team. And she does not like playing with other people watching us, which is funny that we're making a YouTube which is, video. Which is funny because I don't know how many people are going to be ending up watching this, but it's crazy that I get, yeah, I do get really nervous. I think it helps though, like putting the YouTube video out helps with exposure. But in that tournament, she was struggling with drives and stuff. And the very last shot of the day was on this next hole right here. And she hit her five eye hybrid. This is the this number one handicap hole. It's the hardest hole in the golf course. My second shot was way to the right. And she hit her five hybrid onto the green. Yeah. And the other guys were like, let's go. That's yes. awesome. And the, the funniest thing about that tournament, and I, you probably already know what I'm going to say, but the funniest thing about that tournament is like, I was so nervous the whole time. Like we were playing with these guys and they're like, they're doing so well they're out driving like literally everything is like perfect and then at the end at the at the award ceremony they win they yeah. were literally the best two <laughs> golfers in the entire thing it, it's difficult when like Haley's only played with people that are good at golf so it made her feel worse I'm like most people are really bad at golf it's okay and that yeah. didn't help that we were I was like man these guys are really good they were like four or five under for nine holes but yeah we'll start playing with some bad people and that'll make you feel better <laughs> So like I said, this is the hardest hole in the golf course. <sighs> Out of all the times I've played it, I've ended up in that area on the left so many times. I just put a good swing on it and I just don't clear my hips. And so it just naturally goes to the left. So I'm just gonna aim up the right side of the fairway. <sighs> just try to remember to clear my hips and just put it out there so I can just try my best to get a par and move on to an easier hole. Oh, that's perfect. Literally right up the right side, we'll draw right in the smack middle of the fairway. Take that. Take, Take that, that hole. The goal with YouTube in general, even our main channel, even though it's our full-time job, the goal has never been to make money. If you're good at YouTube and you make videos that people want to watch, you'll end up making money eventually. But we would like to make enough money with this second channel to pay for our golf. Our membership here is $210 yeah. a month. So if we can get $210 a month between ad revenue from these videos and like maybe people will send us free golf clubs to try out or whatever, maybe we'll see what happens. <laughs> we actually, like we were saying, we played in that tournament literally just yesterday. So we just played this. I feel like every time that I hit this ball, there's like a little creek on that side over there and I always go in it. That, yeah, that's the same thing for me. So <laughs> I would aim at that, that red tree down there red to the tree. right. To the right. Or maybe that thick pond tree just to the left of the red tree. Look at there, right down the middle, a little, little burn. Okay, I lost my, I lost my balance, but it's in the fairway. It's right in the middle. Right, yes, yeah, right I'll take that. Right next I'll to mine. I'll take that all day. From right here, the cart says we're 100, 146 yards to the pin. I don't know if the cart is slope adjusted though. Let me check my app. The cart is not slope adjusted, so it's 156 yards slope adjusted, which means it's 146 yards away, but it's up 10 yards, so it's playing 156. So from where you are. Probably I don't, a three. I don't, yeah, probably three wood. Okay. I don't, if you hit your five hybrid perfectly, it'll probably still be short. And you'd r much rather be long on this hole than short because long is blocked by that big sand or grass dune. True. So even if you hit it too long, it's not going anywhere. But short, it might roll all the way back down the hill. It's closer. Well, that went about 10 feet. I got an eight iron here. I don't know why this is so intimidating, but I'm not going to think of it as intimidating. I'm just going to aim for the pin, let it rip. Oh, be right. Please be right. That is money. It might be a little long. That's perfect. That was so, so smooth. God, it felt good. I'm just trying not to get discouraged. I am 
very hard on myself for mm -hmm. someone who's been playing as little as I have. So yes. I have to constantly have that in my mind. Um, Cause yeah, like I said, you I need to play double bogey golf. So for you, a double bogey should be par. Like if you get a par, you had a legitimate par on that hole the other day. Yeah. That should feel like an eagle. The, it did, and it did feel really good. Yeah. <laughs> I also smell food right now. It, see, yeah, it smells like onion rings. It out smells here. really good. <laughs> I'm just like topping everything. You're still, you still got four shots, and now you're 100 yards from the pin. <laughs> I just feel like it's so embarrassing to hit it like 40 feet. It's not embarrassing. <laughs> well, a lot of these people uh. watching this video probably don't even play golf, so, <laughs> so you're better than most people. But it's just like with golf, just you could be off a fraction of an inch. Like when you top something like that, that just means that you hit, instead of hitting the middle of the ball, you hit like the top portion of the ball. But you're swinging something super small, trying to hit something else even smaller. Yeah. And like it's, it's incredibly, uh, hitting a golf ball is an incredibly difficult thing to do, which is why the pros get paid the big bucks. Just a full pitch and wedge right in the middle of the green. That'll be fun. It'll hit that. It's a little low, but it'll hit that grass bunker thing in the back of the grass. There's like, it's hard to, there's like a grass wall back behind this green. I guess it's to protect the clubhouses up at the top of the hill. So if you hit a low shot like that, it'll, worst case scenario, it'll get stuck on that grass hill. And then you just, sometimes it'll roll down the hill. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Hopefully it had, maybe it had enough of momentum to come back down the hill. But either Obviously way, you're fine. I wanted more loft than that, but. It's okay. You guys, where Josh is over there. Got another birdie putt, baby. That was a killer shot. I'm, <laughs> I'm really nervous about messing this up, but yours, I, I think yours kind of rolled up that big grass hill and then came back down a little bit. So it's nice. So you just have a little chip. This is downhill, so I would take your pitching wedge and just put it like in the back of your stance a little bit. Kind of bump it. I would probably go straight at it. I don't know if it's going to break a ton. It actually looks like it might break to the to the right a little bit. Kind of like a putt, right? Yeah, just like a putt. You actually, should you putt that? I'll just try a chip. Okay. We'll just see. I mean, I'm already you kind don't of wanna... struggling on this hole, so I'm okay to continue struggling. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, too hard, too hard. It's a little hard. That was a good contact though. It should stop. Then you have a nice uphill putt. I'm gonna pull the flag stick out for this one. I don't know if I was, I mean, it's about maybe 12, 12 feet away. I don't know if I hit up here and rolled, but no, I just hit and stayed. We just joined out here like a month ago, so I've only played this course maybe nine or ten times, and I've bogeyed this hole. Like, I've never had a par here, so to have a birdie putt, pretty good. Didn't hit it. That was a perfect line, just didn't hit it. Okay, I'm going to go again, just because I'm kind of in your way, so yeah. we'll just... Again, it's going to break to the right a little bit, so just out to the left. Well, I get to pick up after this, so... Yep. <laughs> Triple bogey. <laughs> that was that was terrible. I was worried about leaving it short. It definitely broke. I don't know. I didn't see that. Well, well you parred. Yeah, I'll take it. It can only go up from here because that was a monster. <laughs> yeah, how, uh, par on. Par on the hardest course, hardest um, hole on the course. I'll take that. You're leaving your club. Oh, yeah, grab my club, please. Classic amateur golf move. Silly, silly. Leaving the club. <laughs> this is hole number six, 377 yards from where we are in the This cart. is actually the second hardest hole in the course. I don't know why they put the hardest and the second hardest right behind each other. Mm. This one's hard because it's like a straight 90 degree dog leg left. So you hit your drive out there, and unless, if you hit it straight, you're gonna have 230 yards to the green. But if you try to cut the corner a little bit, that'll shut, shorten your shot, but just adds risk. I do have the wind behind me, so I'm just gonna aim right at that corner. Oh, that is, uh, sit down, sit, it's in the woods. I hit it dead straight. I do feel like I have a pretty good advantage at least over Josh on this hole, just because his tee box is kind of way up there. Mine, I'm a you little a bit more. Angle at the green. Yeah, we've got an angle. Cart path, cart path. Go on, go on. Get down there. There it is. Get down there. Keep going. Keep bouncing. It's still bouncing. I just wish, at one point today, you guys can see that I can hit this. We're barely I can halfway hit done. this we got, pretty we got well. Four more holes with a you can hit driver. The next hole after this one. 
Uh, there's some people that live right next to the tee box and they have two golden retrievers that have been outside multiple times and we really, really love them a lot. So hopefully they're out here today so you I guys can meet so. them. Although it is raining, so I have low hopes, but we'll see. They're so cute. So I'm on across this ditch and I never, I didn't even see it bounce. Oh gosh, I'm gonna cross, I don't wanna get my feet wet. It went into this little shrubbery somewhere. I see a ball back there. Is that the ball? Is that the ball for me? No, but I'll take it. I'm gonna come drop on this side of the creek because that's where the hazard line is. Roughly one club. What does the cart say on the yardage? 190. So I got this three iron. If I hit it, if I hit it solid full swing, it'll go more, it'll go like 220. So I'm just gonna choke down a little bit and try to get a little cut. Just get it somewhere, somewhere close. I hit it well, but it's too, cutting too much. That's okay. Haley's Where shot. Oh, it bounced all the way down here. Yeah, it went all the way down the cart path and ended up down here by the bathrooms. Okay, so based on the yardage, we're about 139 yards. That, that's what the cart says. So yeah. technically I feel like I should be hitting my six iron, but I don't necessarily hit that very well. Yeah, I would probably do your five hybrid. Cause you I also have, have not been hitting that very well either. I so. think you have a better chance of hitting your five hybrid well than your six iron. Okay. So I would just hit that, just choke down a little bit. You don't have to take a full swing. There's sand left and right, so if you come up short, you're fine. I would also pull it off on some grass and hit off. There's roots and all that crap over there. There you go. Easy breezy, beautiful. Easy breezy. Cover girl. It's not bad. Like I said, it's short, but you don't have to deal with sand or anything. So then yeah. you, just, you can get your pitching wedge, hit that up on the green, two putt for bogey. So you're about 40 yards away. And you hit your pitching wedge about 100 yards, so a little 40% swing. That was a perfect shot. I probably just shouldn't have told you to hit it. <laughs> it's 40%. That yeah. was exactly what I told you to do, 40%. This house back here is the house with the golden retrievers, so unfortunately it doesn't look like they are out today. But that's something to look forward to in a future video. You guys, uh, for some reason you're watching this and you're not subscribed to the channel, I don't know how you found the channel, but if you are, thanks for watching this far. Uh, and subscribe, because the golden retrievers in the future possibly are definitely worth the subscription. Haley's down there, chip it up. Oh, did not mean hard. to do that. So mine was, if I hit it straight, it would have been perfect. You can see it hit the ground right there and just kind of stayed. It's not a bad miss. Don't have to deal with the sand or anything like that. So I'll just try to chip it up close. One putt for bogey. Get the heck out of here. Sit, get sit, in the sit. Hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Oh my gosh, <laughs> hit the pin. All right, knock it in. Is this a gimme? You're going to make me putt this? I'll put it. I'll put it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, did you see that? You didn't see did it, it. Did it lip out? Yes. Uh oh. Next hole is a par five. I've kind of struggled with this one just because it's kind of a tight fairway. A lot of pine trees on the left, a lot of thick trees on the right. So obviously, left is better than right. There's also a sand trap about maybe 240 yards out to the right, which is, catches a lot of drives from here. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, that's left. That's so left. Get a good kick or something. Okay, it kicks straight down. I'm fine. Straight down into the rough. Zoinks. I forgot to clear my hips. I'm not cleared my hips. Ay, 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 ay. Kick out. Look at that kick. Cart path. <laughs> you see that? That's a great kick. Kicked off the, I don't oh. know if you guys can see that with the GoPro footage, but it was like <laughs> headed left, it bounced off a tree, then bounced off the cart path back into the great angle. So much better than it was supposed to go. Yes. But... Neither of us got what we deserved <sighs> on that shot. This tree over here, such a blessing today. Shout out. Look at it. Shout out my boy tree. Shout out that tree right there. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out my boy cart path. Look, just gonna try to just, stay away from here. that tree down there. You're hitting off tight mud too, so I'd move it up a little bit, get it up on a little bit of grass, a little hump of grass or something. Again, beginner golfer here. Beginner you guys. golfer. We're not playing for money, folks. We are Calm not. Down. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Just stay down, eye on the ball, good solid swing. Just let it. Also, happen. you said like a button, but if you could subscribe, if you're liking this at all, yeah. Maybe subscribe. That Why would be are you still really here? great. If you don't like it. It's free. It really helps us out. 
Look oh, at that shot. Yes. That was so, right down the middle, little draw. I wish I could hit like that. Wow. <laughs> okay, I was just saying I haven't hit this club, and now I we we can quit now. We can I'm quit. Good. See, <laughs> see, folks, that's just, no matter how bad you play at golf, <laughs> if you just have a good shot like that, once every 20 tries, 15 to 20 tries, that's just enough to keep just you enough. coming back. That tree right there is kind of in my way, but I don't, I don't think it'll be a big issue. Just I don't want to be right, so just stay down. Well, that'll do. Almost missed it, but oh, oh, sit down. oh, it bounced up. Sit down. It should be fine. We are 146 yards. Five hybrid. Five hybrid. Five, five it hybrid. Is. It is. Get over the sand. Get over the sand. Okay, we went left. That's fine. But we're right kind of down the hill a little bit. Yeah, it rolled to the bottom of that hill, but you're past the sand. So all you got to do is chip up, two yeah. putt, and that's, <gasps> a, that's a bogey. Two putt for bogey. And I hit it pretty solid. It did yeah. obviously go to the left, but I'm pretty proud of actually hitting it. Yeah, like that. that was a very good Instead shot. Instead of topping it. <laughs> go ball. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, it's rolling Spinning back down. down. Too much spin on it. That was good. Just a little bit harder, and that would have been, that would have been good. I mean, that's still a good shot. Leaving yourself an uphill putt. I think mine maybe hit right there, and it's kind of on a slope, and it just spun all the way back. That's what I'm not used to with that 60. It just has a lot more spin than the 54-degree wedge I usually hit with. Oh my gosh, that was terrible. It's like a bunch of bounces. Zoinks. One. Two, three, four. So this is for par. This is my par putt. Yep. Legitimate par, but Legitimate I guess based par. on Josh. If you make I this to beat me. I can triple putt it for double bogey, which should be my goal. It's uphill, so you can hit it fairly firm, and it's going to go that way a little bit. So I'd aim up here somewhere, nice and firm. Okay, got this. Come on, come on, come on. Again, the speed. Yeah. Golly, this hey, is even one. the pros make bogeys. Yeah, but... This is going to break so much. <laughs> this is such a hard putt. Oh, go in nice hole number eight par four not too difficult i mean i guess a slight dog leg left a couple sand traps in the front wide open fairway pine trees to the left right's pretty open if you slice one all this over there is another fairway so i'm gonna aim a little right Let's see what happens And that's left. Ooh, it went left. That's where I was yesterday. Yep. In the trees. Exactly where I didn't want to be. There's Which, a ball right here. Oh, free ball. What kind of ball is it? Taylor made. Wow. I bet somebody hit it from that. Oh, they're on that tee box. Over. No, they're on that green. Free ball. Sweet. Nobody would have hit that, right? Because they're the other way. Maybe it is them. Well, they're headed, well, they're headed this way. Well, I guess so. I'll put their ball back in. That's a terrible drive. <laughs> there. Yeah. Uh, who am I to talk? I, I might be over here too. Okay. Play. Still going left. Oh, left, but you're not in the woods though. That's true. 150 yards. 150 yards. <sighs> over the sand. I don't care where it goes. Please don't go in the sand. You're good. That's all I ask. You got it. There's no way I can hit them, right? No, I mean, they're, they're kinda... like they're 30 yards past the green. Okay. Topped it again. I was so straight though. This is me. And as you can see, what the heck is that? Ugh. I don't know what that is. Gross. Uh, as you can see, I don't really have a shot. I'm just going to try to take a little seven iron and bump it up there in front of the green so I can chip up and hopefully make par. Nope, nope. Hit the tree. I mean, I'm out. I hit it well. I just didn't hit it. 
low enough for it to avoid that tree limb. I'm just short. <sighs> Hit the just ground. A little chunky. Very chunky. That's it's straight though. That's straight as an arrow. So I'd really like to get this close. About 71. So about a little 70% swing. What a shot. I could do. How far are you? What? How far away are you? I don't know. What club do you have? Pitching wedge. Yeah, you're probably probably about 45 yards away. So just like a just past your waist, you know, like a little 60% swing or so. Sit down. Sit. 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 Little long. This is definitely downhill. It kind of looks straight, but I'm not 100% sure. So we'll see. Go ball, go ball, go ball. Ah, it's not straight. So close. Breaks a little bit. I had this a very similar putt to this the other day. Last hole of the day. Some of you are probably like, oh gosh, thank goodness. I can't believe I watched this 45 minute video. If you're still here, thank you so much. Last hole, par four, pretty difficult. I think this is like the fourth or fifth handicap so it's just straight uphill got to hit a good drive if you don't hit a good drive you're gonna have you know 180 200 yards to the green so we'll see clear the hips clear the hips oh that is perfect oh that felt good this fairway is wide open spaces <sighs> I just do can't the thing. suck myself out just let because it's wide thing. open. Tee it high, let it fly. Alrighty. If you get this in the fairway, I'll do all the dishes tonight after <laughs> dinner. All of them. Okay, I have motivation now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh my gosh, that's the best drive you've ever hit. Oh my goodness. Where was that today? <laughs> Looks like I better go get my dish gloves on. That was really good. This is the fairway, so you, you do need yeah, your dish that gloves. Yeah, was, that was perfect. This uh, sprinkler head says 137, but slope adjusted, we're about 147 yards to the pin. This is my drive. That's Haley's, about 60 yards ahead of me. I did have an advantage of my tee box. I also didn't get any roll. It hit right there and just stopped. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna hit the nine. The first hole, first hole of the day, I hit my nine like too hard. It was past the green. I'd much rather be long on this hole to short because it's elevated. So we'll just try to try to get it up there. Don't do anything too fancy. Should be okay. Yeah, that's up there. Um, I do have really good track record after I hit a good shot of just ruining it with the next shot. <laughs> you and every golfer alive. <laughs> it's fine. It's, you're 110 yards away. No sand in front of the green. I got my nine. You don't have to hit it over anything. If you hit it a little thin and it gets low, it'll roll up onto the green. This is the best case scenario for the last hole That's of the day. Chunk of dirt on there. You got it. Okay. Topped it again. Yep. But... That's rolling, and now you just gotta chip. You chip up that's in one just, putt. That's a par. That's just my life today. It's constant topic, well, and no speed. You've only been playing golf for like a month, so I know. Keep reminding the viewers of that so they don't make fun of me. Just like that. Sit, sit. Too hard again. Just it just barely trickled off the back. Mm -hmm. Just barely. I got this putt here for birdie. A long one though, geez Louise. If I can two putt this for par, that will be a huge success. Go, go, Turn. Go, go. Turn and go. Go, go, go. Short. Yeah. My shot over here. You got it. That's perfect. That's perfect. Go, go, go. That it literally <gasps> the only way you Look get better than that. Yeah. Perfect. 
And see, but you threw it like right into this hill, so the yeah. hill like took some momentum off, and then it trickles on. That's exactly. What I you thought it do. did kind of bad because I thought I like hit the ground first, which I might have. <laughs> Who cares? You still made it. I would love to par this. Let's see. I'm four. I'm five over. So if I make this, I'll shoot a 41, which is the best I've ever played on this nine holes. I've shot, I think 40, 42, 42 is my best. I usually shoot like 43 or so. So I'd really like to make this for my personal best on this nine holes. Thank you. I feel good. Feel good. Personal best. First YouTube video. Personal 41. best. I didn't Last like right at the. Here, let me take the pin out so we can get a good look at the putt. It's downhill. You don't have to hit it super hard. <laughs> I have so much pressure on myself right now. It's, it's fine. I know. I know. Right edge. Knock her in. There it is. Yes. Good putt. So I think that'll do it for today's video. I don't know how long it's going to be because we filmed pretty much the entire round. It's going to be a long one. We did. <laughs> we'll we'll we did try to well. edit it down into a digestible piece of content for you guys. But thank yes. you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet and you made it this far, definitely subscribe. Uh, and you're the best. We'll catch you guys on the, the next, next one. one.